Tank's clean, so the whole sprayer's clean. We're ready to go. Actually, Tom, that's a myth. There are a lot of sprayer cleaning protocols out there that focus on the sprayer tank, and that's good. But quite often, it's the rest of the sprayer that harbors the pesticide residue, creates the contamination problems. That's especially the case when we're using dry formulations. Well, when I change chemicals, I just put 100 gallons to the tank and flush it out with the boom. It's quick and does the job, right? Actually, no, Tom. Many of today's herbicides are very active at low rates. Cutting corners to save time can cost thousands in damage claims, even when only trace amounts of pesticide are left in the system. So, what should I be doing to try to clean my sprayer more effectively? Well, first, try to avoid problems in the first place. Mix your products in the right order, with the right carrier, with the right agitation. The right carrier? Yeah, basically warm, clean water at the right pH. Second, Clean your sprayer as soon as you're done using it, or as soon as possible. Don't let stuff sit in there. Rinse and flush the entire system. That means the tank, all hoses, filters, dual flow metering systems, boom ends, nozzle screens, and of course, nozzles. I think I finally figured it out. I know how to get this nozzle unplugged. <laughs> Looks like I got some blowback there. I was trying to tell you never clean a nozzle by blowing in it. Oops. I guess from now on it's triple rinsing, making sure you use the right detergent and making sure all the sprayer parts are clean, including the exterior. Good idea. Jeez, oh, it's even in my 